but with the cerebral part of the game as well. On second down, Willis out of the shotgun. Steps up, looks to run, does that quite well. Angles left, now back to the right between the hash marks and is taken down. Now you're third and seven, gives defense an opportunity to blitz. Mullins, one of five, 18 yards, hit as he throws, chucks it well over the head of Brandon Val. And his first drive at Soldier Field, preseason week one, was an absolute masterpiece. Handoff goes to Spears. That's to Jay Spears. Mullins, under center, Ty Chandler has been the only tailback used so far. Jackson up top, handoff to Chandler, swallowed by T. Air Tart. Now we're playing on their side of the ball a little bit. How about we just don't give up a first down the entire night? Willis, shotgun, yeah. All right, first down for the Tennessee Titans. And Malik Willis has a tightly packed eye behind him. And he goes to Spears, who has room and leaps over a Viking that was pretty. 15-10-5 touchdown, Tennessee. 33-yard touchdown by Tajay Spears. In everything purple and gold to get there. Now Lewis Seen coming in late as a safety. And it's going to be a four or five-yard gain if he makes the play. But that's the difference between you know, linebacker and safety. Linebacker, if you miss a tackle, it might be a first down. But as a safety, you miss a tackle, it's going to be this. It'll be six points on the board. So, you know, not... Uh, not the best example. Is the tailback now behind Malik Willis, who, unless something dramatically changes, will go the distance. Pass right, and it's caught. Middle of the second quarter, 7-3 Titans. Mullins, 9 of 13, 120 yards. Hand off Ty Chandler. He's been the only back to play for the Vikings. And uh, we have 3-11 and counting to go in the first half. That's been a problem this preseason. Untouched guy up the middle, sacks. Nick Mullins, we are two of seven on third down. It's third and 23, Mullins, straight drop. Now nah, he's going to be sacked again, or does he throw it away? At 11 games, come down to the wire, and uh, the Minnesota Vikings won each and every one of them. Greg Joseph with a high kick. Here comes Jackson, near side to the 10 to the 15. Gets loose a bit of the 25, stumbles across the 30, and Huber brings him down at the 36-yard line kind of how we want it within the lines of, of playing so we can make adjustments within the the different disguises to be able to make it look like a certain thing. And the thing I, I appreciate about him the most is he knows his strengths and weaknesses and he knows one of his biggest strengths is his mind. So he's a super smart player, which it's hard to take smart players off the field. Uh-oh, Chestnut, 20, 10, couldn't get in. A lot of fumbles, though, and that's the one thing I think that, that pushed him down in the draft, and so far he's shown really good ball security. Five fumbles just last year for McBride. The Vikings 20% on third down. That their receiver is going to be, and then one of our guys just kind of closes it off, and hopefully Harrison can be that guy. But, look, I, I think that uh, he also said that there's a – Flores will have this ability with his players to just open up some dialogue. 10-9, Tennessee leads, second and 10 from the Vikings 17. Chestnut back in the game, runs through a missed Troy Reader tackle, then basically drags the entire defense inside the five. You have to respect him as an offense because he's such a good blitzer, but he's also a very, very good cover guy. He's very smart, so he has all the tools of a safety that you want and need and be able to use in a system like that. Tennessee and Julius Chestnut has amassed 91 yards and a TD. You talk about strong hands. They use that phrase to describe offensive linemen. If he gets his hands on you and you're a linebacker, I've seen him upset the apple cart many times last year. And when that young man plays angry ball, he's unstoppable. You know, you mentioned Brian O'Neill, and Brian O'Neill tore his Achilles and, you know, injured his Achilles on an interception, yeah. covering an interception. So in these control practices, situations like that aren't going to happen. Now, that's a one in a million thing. But still, in this day and age of the NFL, we lost the challenge, so it's first and goal for Tennessee. Willis stands tall in the pocket, short drop, fires left, and it is caught for a Tennessee Titans touchdown. Nice leaping play there by Troy Reader. That's a receiving touchdown for Chestnut, second year from Sacred Heart. A lot of experts said it into the 2020. We've now seen Jefferson and Higgins and... Darnell Mooney and and to Jerry Judy to a certain extent. Ooh, Malik, tear it up. 40, 35, 30.